UVM is a methodology for building class-based verification environments in system Verilog. Taking advantage of object-oriented programming techniques to help with code reuse. So reuse is right at the heart of the UVM environment. The building blocks of a UVM environment are objects, that is instances of classes as opposed to modules, processes and functions regarding the Verilog or DHDL. The significance of using objects is that they can be replaced at runtime, given a huge amount of flexibility when it comes to reusing verification components and tests without tampering with the original source code. You can take an existing item of verification intellectual property and replace subcomponents after the sequence of transactions it generates or extends its behavior without touching or copying the source code and without the original author of the VIP having needed to anticipate any changes. UVM environment recognizes three main types of user-defined object. The three main objects types are the component, the sequence item, the sequence where the corresponding classes are UVM underscore component, UVM underscore sequence underscore item, and UVM underscore sequence. Components are structural. That is, they are instantiated at the start of simulation. That is, during the build phase. Whereas sequence items and sequences usually represent test stimulus and are dynamic. That is, they are instantiated on the fly at runtime. With System Verilog, I provide the mechanisms needed to create verification components for check-in, coverage collection, and stimulus generation, and to modify the behavior of those components written in this specific test. UVM defines coding templates for the component, sequence item and sequence. Each of these coding templates is simple and regular, and the three kinds of template are mutually consistent. There are coding guidelines for the way the lines are ordered within each class and naming conventions. For user-defined names, all of which make code look consistent. Functional verification applied in this project. The primary objective of functional verification is to ensure that this ASIC design meets functional requirements. The functional verification process and methodology consists of gate level event simulation, gate level cycle simulation, gate level hardware acceleration, boolean equivalency checking, and power estimation. The objective is to show the implementation of a 32-bit arithmetic logic unit using the behavioral model style to describe 
how the operation of the arithmetic logic unit is being processed. It is accomplished by using the hardware description language, the VHDL. The behavioral style makes use of the process statement, the process statement which is the main construct in behavioral model allows using sequential statements to describe the behavior of the system over time. So process is declared within an architecture as it is illustrated in this video and is a concurrent statement. The statement inside a process are executed sequentially. So the process reads and writes signals and values of the interface which is input and output ports to communicate with the rest of the architecture like other concurrent statements. As I have illustrated and shown in this video of the arithmetic logic unit I have used several constructs to model the VHDL process statement. Also, I have used the WHEN statement. In the CASE statement, it executes many sequences of statements based on the value of a single expression. Also, the CASE statement evaluates the expression and comparison of the value of each of the choices while the when the when clause statement corresponds to the matching choice which will make the statement to be executed the UVM components communicate with standard translation level modeling interfaces, which improves reusability. Using a system Verilog implementation of TLM in UVM, a component may communicate via its interface to any other component that implements that interface. So each transaction level modeling interface consists of one or more methods used to transport data. The transaction level modeling specifies the required behavior semantic of each method, but does not define their implementation. In UVM, a transaction is a class object, UVM underscore transaction extended from UVM underscore object that includes information that is needed to model a unit of communications between two components. The transaction object includes variables, constraints, and other fields and methods necessary for generating and operating the transaction. connecting transaction level components with ports and exports defined for transaction level components. The actual connection between them is accomplished via the connect method in parent that is component or ENV with an argument that is the object port or export to which it will be connected. In the verification environment, the series of connects calls between ports and exports establish a net list of peer-to-peer -peer and hierarchical connections, ultimately terminating at the implementation of the interface. The analysis port contains a list of analysis underscore exports that are connected to it. 
when the component calls analysis underscore port dot write, the analysis underscore port cycles through the list and calls the write method of each connected export. If nothing is connected, the, re the write call simply returns. Thus, an analysis port may be connected to zero or one or many analysis exports. But the operation of the component that writes to the analysis port does not depend on the number of port exports connected. UVM environment recognizes three main types of user-defined object. The three main object types are the component, the sequence item, the sequence where the corresponding classes are UVM underscore component, UVM underscore sequence, underscore item, and UVM underscore sequence. The sequencer generates stimulus data and passes it to a driver for execution. The UVM class library provides the UVM underscore sequencer base class, which is parameterized by the request and response item types. That is, the UVM underscore sequencer base class contains all of the base functionality required to allow a sequence to communicate with the driver. The driver and the sequencer are connected via the TLM with the driver sequencer underscore item underscore port connected to the sequencer SEQ underscore item underscore export. Implementing checks and test coverage. Interface checks are implemented as assertions. Assertions are added to check the signal activity for a protocol. The assertions related to the physical interface are placed in the ENV interface. For example, an assertion might check that an address is never X or Y during a valid transfer. An assertion directive is used when the property expresses the behavior of the device under test, DUT. An assume directive is used when the property expresses the behavior of the environment that generates the stimulus to the DUT. The